A little bit confusing here, but I am only scratching the surface with shebangs. That's why, this is a really long-winded way of saying, that's why I like to use user bin env, because this line right here starts with a comment character in Bash. Like, you know, this is a comment, blah, 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 blah. Anything that starts with this line is a comment, so Bash sees this line, but Bash doesn't care about this line. This line is sent to your operating system. This is a hint to the operating system on how to execute this program. I can't control what operating system you run this on, so I can only put my best effort in this comment to say, hey, operating system, please, here is how I want you to execute it. And when I tell the operating system, I don't want to tell the operating system to use bin bash. I don't know what's there. I don't even know if there is something there. I've been on operating systems where there is no bin bash. What I do know is that you most likely have an env command, and that env command can find bash in the dollar path variable. You will almost certainly have this command. If you are on a POSIX machine, you will definitely have this command. Here is the POSIX specification. As you can see, this command is here. You have to have the env command, and it will take the utility and will take optional arguments after it. There's other things this program can do, but this is important. It will always have the env command. It will take the dash i flag if you specify, and it will take the name of the program and the arguments here. This will exist in your system. It might not exist in user bin, but it's going to exist on your system somewhere. And that's why, to circle back to what I said earlier, this is my best effort. This is me, the programmer, the person who made this script saying, hey, operating system, here's how I want you to execute this. I want you to run it through bash, whatever version of bash the user has first in their path. That's all I can do. I can't control much else beyond that. So that's why I prefer this shebang. Yes, user bin env might not be there. In practice, I find it's there a lot, but that's not really the purpose. It's my, my goal in doing this is not saying, oh, user bin env is more likely to be there than slash bin slash bash. No, my purpose in saying this is that this will execute the version of bash that is in the person's path, and that's what I would rather have happen than me saying, oh, I know how your operating system's laid out. I know you store bash here. I don't know. I have no idea where you store bash. So this is my best effort way of saying, here is how to execute the script. But again, if you're a power user, you can just run it through whatever shell you want. I could go here and just run my own custom co uh, compiled version of bash that I have here and run my simple script. I could cat the simple script into that custom compiled version. You know, if I'm a power user, then I can do whatever I want, but I also take on the responsibility of if things break, then it's my fault because I did some weirdness there. So that is why I use that shebang, and that is just scratching the surface of what goes on there. 